Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned about rotational symmetry, let us try to attempt a few questions. Question number one, which of the following figures have rotational symmetry of order more than one? Why are we asking about order more than one? Because all objects have rotational symmetry of order one. So the uniqueness is when an object has rotational symmetry of order more than one. So let us look at this triangle. So in this case, by what angle should we rotate this triangle just to see if rotational symmetry exists or not. So again apply the same logic you have three sides right. So if we want one side to move to the position of the next slide, next side. So by what angle should I rotate it. So calculate the angle which each side subtends at the center. Now we assume that all the three angles are equal. Now there are three angles which are formed and total is 360. So 360 by 3 that is 120 degree. So let us rotate it by 120 degree in the clockwise direction. So when you rotate it by 120 degree you come to this position. Yeah. Now let us try to rotate it further by 120 degrees. So when you rotate it further by 120 degree it comes to this position. And when you further rotate it by 120 degree, it comes back to the original position. So basically in one complete rotation, how many identical triangles do you get? So you actually get three identical triangles, one, two, three, because all the triangles are identical. Therefore, the order of symmetry for this is three. Let us look at the next object. So what happens when we by what angle are we going to rotate this object we will rotate it by 90 degree. So the moment we rotate it in the clockwise direction by 90 degree it gives this shape. Now on further rotating it by 90 degree in the clockwise direction it comes back to this shape. Now we further rotate it by 90 degrees and we get this shape. When you further rotate by 90 degrees, so how, where are you going? This is 90, 180, 270 and 360. So you have completed 360 degrees and now it has come back to its original position. So in one complete rotation, how many identical positions do you have? This is one identical, I mean, identical to the original position. So this is the original position and this is the next identical position. So you have two identical position. Therefore, the order of rotational symmetry is Two. Question number two. Give the order of rotational symmetry for each figure. So we will follow the same process for each of these figures. Now it doesn't matter what figure do you have. Oh, the all, only thing that you need to decide is by what angle should you rotate it. So for the first figure, can you tell me by what angle should you rotate it? If you very closely observe this figure, this is your center of rotation. So the angle that it, they subtend at the center is 90 degree. So let us rotate it by 90 degree. So the moment you rotate it by 90 degree in the clockwise direction, this is what you get. Again rotate it by 90 degree. So what do you get? On further rotation by 90 degree, you get this. Let us rotate it further by another 90 degree and you get this. On further rotation by 90 degree, you come back to the original position. So basically in one complete rotation, how many identical position do you find? 1, 2, 3 and 4 because all the 4 positions are identical. So that shows that the order of rotational symmetry in this case is 4. Let us look at the next one. So in this image, you have to first decide that by what angle you are supposed to rotate it. For that, you need to find out the angle that is subtended at the center of rotation. This is your center of rotation. Now here you see there are six different segments. This is one segment, two, three, four, five and six. So there are six parts basically. So we want that after one rotation, this part should get moved, should take the position of the next part. So Part by part it should get displaced. So basically we have to see what is the angle that is subtended by each part at the center. That means you have to get an idea about this angle 
that they are subtending at the center. So how many angles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what is the total angle? It is 360. So 360 divided by 6 that is equal to 60 degree. So let us rotate it by 60 degrees. So when you rotate it by 60 degree in the clockwise direction, you get this. Let us further rotate it by 60 degree in the clockwise direction, we get this. On further rotation of 60 degree in the clockwise direction, we get this. We still rotate further in the clockwise direction by 60 degree. And thereafter also we will rotate it by 60 degree to get this. And finally we rotate it by another 60 degree and we come back to the original position. So how do we know that after this we are coming back to the original position? That's because this is 60, this is 60 plus 60 which is 120. This is 60 plus 60 plus 60 that is 180. This is 180 plus 60 which is 240. This is 240 plus 60 that is 300. This is 300 plus 60 that is 360. And after 360 degree that is after one complete rotation you come back to the original position. You must come back to the original position. So we know that this is one complete cycle. So how many identical positions did you come across? So there are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 identical positions because you see all of them are identical. Therefore the order of symmetry for this would be 6. Let us look at the third image. This is how it looks like. So here the center of rotation would be this point. So here you see there are three parts. This is one part, two part and three part. So what is the angle that this obtained here? That would be given by 360 divided by 3. That is equal to 120 degree. So let us rotate it in the clockwise direction by 120 degree. So what do we get? We get this position. If we further rotate it by 120 degree in the clockwise direction, we get this. And on further rotation of 120 degrees in the clockwise direction, we get this. So basically in one complete rotation, we get three identical images. Therefore, the order of symmetry would be three. So I hope that you are getting the concept of finding out the order of rotational symmetry. Now this is a very important concept and a lot of students get confused with rotational symmetry. So please pay attention and try to solve more and more questions. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.